Wednesday. It's Wednesday. You know what that means, Wednesday. Wait for the uh, stream to catch up so we can talk to everybody. Ooh, that was only like a some odd second delay. 15 second delay. We got some hidden figures over here. Ooh. Spoiler alert, what's about to be posted. <laughs> Can't have that. Can't have that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday, which means it's Blind Bag Live time. How's everybody doing? Just got an offer for Pixel on eBay. Who do we have in the house today? You guys have been here forever. Fire Ryan in the house. Liam and Jago Bros. Uh, that name that said hello, I don't doesn't come out in English, so I don't know what that is. Sorry about that, but thanks for being here. Tracy McLean, of course, Dead Scary Boy. Just Ninjago. We haven't seen that one before. Ian Johnson, hello. What's up? Uh, there's a whole bunch of those same people. Weston Brunner says, today it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Weston. Thank you for joining me on your special day here. Liam, I think we already got Liam. Uh, man, <laughs> you guys were talking a lot before we even started. Where's the start of the stream here? Rick Martin in the house. Hello. Welcome. Moderating for us today. Chase. Hello. Spartan Gaming. Dark Knight. Did I get everybody? If I didn't get you, say hello right now. All right. Got a whole bunch of uh, Ninjog Bros begging for bag two. <laughs> it just means more to him than everything. Luggage of Legend in the house. Juan, hello. Did I miss you guys? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right. Someone talked down Clark from Brickadex Mod. What? I was talking about bag two. There are more bag two votes. Liam's bag three. You guys are already voting. Before I even get in the stream, you guys are already voting now. It's like you know what we're, uh, it's like you know what we're going to do. Rick Martin says bag four. <laughs> and Jog Bros, just to teach you a lesson that spam doesn't count, we're going to go bag three. Sorry about that. You got to learn your lesson. Spamming never helps your cause. Never helps your cause. All right, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Wednesday. As you can see by the title, I don't know if you guys are following any of that. I missed out hard on that. I don't know if any of you are old enough to trade stocks, and some of you aren't in the U.S., but it's hilarious what's going on right now in the stock market. Basically, it's like a people's revolution right now <laughs> and a trash stock is getting sold at huge prices just to make really rich billionaires sad um is essentially what's going on so billionaires are losing money and uh regular people are gaining money which is really funny and awesome uh so hopefully that continues if you guys don't follow any of that stuff eating some mcdonald's and dreading work overnight tonight work you're working a whole night ouch i'm sorry man because you're an active person here, I'll mute, mute you so feel special. Stuck in lockdown, can't buy anything. Oh, man. All right, everybody. Let's go. Full time 10 to 7. Ouch. Ouch. Let's scoot this over a bit. So we have some room for our tings, because we got to find tings today, right? Like, come on. What are we doing if we're not finding things? That's a cool helmet. It's not uh, not Lego, but it's cool looking. Uh, we have, yep, this girl from Ninjago. What is that? Harumi? That's not Harumi. Is that Harumi? That's the only other girl I know besides Nia. <laughs> so Ninjago Bros. What is that? Ninjago Bros. It's Harumi. Woohoo! I'm so good at Ninjago. You guys don't even know how good at Ninjago I am. I'm the best at Ninjago. So good. Making some custom lightsabers for cosplay. Nice. Nothing there. Superman. We'll use Superman. 
Here's the hair piece on this one for a Luke, otherwise garbage. Uh, we have Hawkeye here. Not too bad, he's about six bucks. Not super good. Beer back got a class. Fair enough. Skulkin. I got a pineapple knight in the house with a uh, ninja headpiece. <laughs> Shout out to Genesis again, huh? Every day. Every day. You're so kind. Where's, uh, where's Aqua Mike? You got his Manta Warrior right there. Where's the Ting Pile? Right here. I think Harumi's pretty good, right? No? Am I mistaken on that one? I'm pretty sure she is. Old school knight and uh, UFO guy. Mando helmet. First Mando sighting of the day. I think that one is Indiana Jones' dad. What torso is that? I don't know what that is. How am I doing? I'm doing right. Laser in the house. Got a Imperial. How are you doing? She came in a $20 set. Not that good. All right. Well, there you go. You got a rebel. It doesn't matter what bag we do, guys. We're going to do all the bags eventually. <laughs> Don't feel like you lost. Uh, messages from eBay coming in all over the place. Uh, we got our Hoth Rebel, so we're halfway done with our lot at this point. All we need is a uh, Snow Trooper, and we're good to go. DX Cole. That guy just looks like he's up to no good, doesn't he? They did a good job on that guy, making him look like he's up to no good. Got the Elf, of course. That's one of those extreme team guys. Uh, Fish Face, or whatever his name is. Fish Face? Something like that. Temple of Resurrection version is the one you want to get from Harumi. Oh, the, is that the. It's a different color hair, right? Something like that. You low key love the old Hoth Rebel designs? No problem with that. I like them. Yes, the guy he's up to no good is from Adventures. Hey, we got a tan fig in the house. This guy's been, he went from Hoth right to uh, Fiji, and he's been getting his son. And uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's not, uh, it's no hairline, and that's that's what makes or breaks a tan figure, is if you get the solid hairline, that's what does it. That's a good fig. We got the uh, white pauldron sand trooper. Is this a good deal for Commander Fox and a 501st Trooper for $25? Yeah, that's a pretty decent deal. BB-8, we'll use that one in a hot second. Not a great fig, but we'll use it very quickly. Stormtrooper, just some pieces. No ting so far, because you guys took away my Harumi ting. Join Tan Solo at the beach. <laughs> no worries, Ninjago Bros. Don't worry about it. Uh, Riddler. Got the sweet purple hat. I just had to use one of those because I did the uh, Brick Daddy fig. Just posted that one. Uh, this one is Pixel, I think. Not a tremendous value there either. A lot of just decent figs. We've only put two things in the other bin so far. Hooch. Power Miners. Mini Snakes. Trolls. Man, yeah, I haven't put a whole lot in there at all. Divers. Put the diver in there. I don't think really use the diver. I probably should make a diver's lot because I get a lot of those. I'll have to take a look at that. Spitta? Yeah. Spitta. Those mini fr fig friends, mini figs <laughs> are cold. Uh, recently you bought three of the clone battle packs from 2008. Nice. Oh, well, that's that had to have set you back a little bit. Yes, Pixel, I'm good at Ninjago. <laughs> Peyton, hi, sub yesterday. Welcome. Welcome, Peyton. Oh, there's a good fig. We do have the green classic space fig in tremendous condition. We'll just put the face on there. Hopefully we get the helmet as well. I don't remember if that green helmet's super rare, uh, but that's a good figure. I think we got its companion um, from that set earlier in the hall, I want to say. Stormtrooper and Sandtrooper, useful pieces. We got the uh, robot SWAT team. Thanks for the monkey. Yeah, I haven't even opened your pack yet, but <laughs> video to come from our little trade there. Uh, free hair. That's Indiana Jones. What torso is that? Obviously, it's a clone, right? I mean, come on. Never seen that torso before, though. Focus right here. Yeah, there you go. Torso? Anybody know? 
What is it? What is it? I know you guys know. You're starting to collect every single battle droid ever made. That'll be fun. Black Canary. Even though you have 3,000, that one's special. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's the only one that came directly from me. Toy Story. Of all 3,000, that one's the best. Did you mark it? I should have signed it for you. That way you could tell the differentiation so you don't lose it in the pile. I never remember whose legs those are. Anybody know? Nobody knew about the torso? Rick Martin. Come on now. Come on now. We got Mace Windu's lightsaber. That's a good one. She's from Lego Batman movie, so it's a trash fig, basically. That's what you're saying. Brand. Phase one clone. Nothing. Nothing. Shadow Trooper. You're busy while watching this stream. <laughs> you can't have another life. You can't be doing other things. What are you, crazy? You got a nice little cauldron there. It's kind of cool. You can't have things that you do. We got the captain of the uh, Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> he didn't put it in your collection. It's next to you on your desk. Aw. Aw. Ooga Booga Man Legs. Uh, Han? Just threw away Han like that, huh? Just did Han dirty. Stormtrooper, where's our good stuff in here, Kai? I mean, it's all good. It's all good sales stuff, but where's the good and exciting things? Ninja Turtles. We got, what is this, a series guy, I think. Interesting cape on that guy. Wait, Wilson in the house can't stay long, just stopping by. What's up, man? Hello and goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. Tony Stark, that's a good fig right there. We'll put that one down here. All we need is black legs for that. Do we have any black legs to steal from anybody else? There we go. Can we get his hair piece in here, too? That's a pretty common hair piece. I don't see it, though. Almost completed the whole thing. Where's the juicy figs? I don't know. I mean, we can't expect all the bags to be to be ting-worthy. Iron Man, those are all good. They are just random amounts of figures, so really, when you think about it, getting any solid figures is actually pretty cool. <laughs> like, these are just who knows what's in here, so any any win is a good win, for sure. Friend helmet. Morning, Jago. That was a cool skateboard. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, did I miss something? You're gonna be moving out to your own place in like six months, the amount of moving boxes, just yikes. Hopefully it's a big house to keep all your Legos. Are you keeping those at uh, at the former house there? Rick Martin. Aragorn legs, that's a good, good thing there. All the Lord of the Rings figs have been tremendous lately. OG Cole. Ninjago Shark. Uh, what was that, Explorians? I think is what that one was. Speaking of classic themes, man, the Bionicle group. <laughs> they are vocal. Holy cow, man, that is like the scr most scratched up pirate. I don't know if you can tell in the, the light. Come on, show the light, show the light. Oh well, well he's just terribly scratched up. That uh, The people that like Ninjago are very strong in their opinion. Racer X, I think is what that one is. The house, the amount of, the house is what normal people would say enormous. <laughs> Two bathrooms, five bedrooms, attic, garage, huge living room, there's no wall between them. But I'm gonna make a wall, seems kitchen, living room. You're not going, you're not in that open concept? Are you getting that yourself? Or is it like your family's moving to a new house? Indiana Jones' dad again. Oh, little puppy. I think you see Hagrid, but you might be tripping. No, there's a Hagrid right there. No head and no beard. That's the old version of Hagrid as well. And my watch is lighting up. There's uh, Agent Coulson. I'm going to keep that separate because that's a head that I would easily lose if I didn't keep it separate. Manta Warrior Anakin, huh? You didn't get that yourself? Rick Martin's holding out his millions on us. <laughs> 
Holding out on millions. Tell you what, Rick Martin, shadow play. The long haul he made us all think that he was, you know, didn't have any money. And then he comes out with the giant mansion by himself. Long live Colson. Yeah, man. Soccer guy. You don't like huge open spaces. All right. Fair enough. Is that the Series 1 Diver? Right? No? Is that a Series Diver? Yes? Isn't that? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Is he still good? Find any printed hairs? Of course. Always. There's printed hair right there. Rent is like 1500 bucks a month. That ain't too bad. Aw, look at that little guy. Oh, you don't think that's a serious tiger? <laughs> All right. Wrong legs and wrong head. Well, yeah, I meant the torso. Obviously, those two are like trash things. Isn't the torso right, though? Old school forceman. Have you ever owned Chrome Darth Vader? Yes, I've actually found a Chrome Darth Vader. That's probably the moment of highlight that I've found something. Printed hair figs. Man, that is a lot of hair. There you go, Dad Scary Boy. The most hair you'll ever see on a printed hair fig. There's that Ninjago shark guy. Yep. Yeah. Boom. Boom. What's up with everybody else? I'm just sitting here talking. Nothing there. Clones always in hiding in plain sight, I'll tell you what. There's the butler. There's a good piece. There's Raja from uh, Aladdin. It's a good thing. Unless that value's gone down. Kylo Ren's helmet. We keep that one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Getting a little generous on our ting pile here. You need a lot of space to store your Lego. Fair enough. Uh, ooh, that's a good one. We do have Thorin, and I did find his hair earlier. There we go. Thorin. It's a good fig right there. Do we figure out that this one's just trash? Got the space right now. Only an attic, but a bit too small for you. Thoughts on the latest Star Wars movies and the figs that were released? Which latest movie are we talking about? Mandalorian? I love that guy. I think that's a serious fig too. Uh, he's got the old call to Blacktron. I wanna put him up here just because he's super cool. Super duper cool. Robot hands and a call to Blacktron, that's all you need to win my heart right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that's all you need, right there. That's it, that's all you need. I think that's a uh, Hobbit fig as well. I think that's the one with the white beard. Jeez, puppy town in here. Rise of Skywalker, can you have a skeleton? Uh, I mean, no. I'd have to ship it to you. That would cost me like four dollars. <laughs> uh, we got Qui-Gon Luke. I would love to give you a skeleton, but you know, I paid, you could buy a skeleton. I mean, I paid for the skeleton, so. It's not really how my business works, but you know. I wish I could give you all skeletons. Oh man, that one's all beat up. That was Jace's head. Sean Lee, hello, what's up? Welcome. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> oh, Rise of Skywalker. Oh, that one. I find it trash. <laughs> Heard it airfix. You went, uh, Rick Martin went, went hard on Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> oh, that one. I find it trash. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Okay. Spooky scary skeletons? Blue Productions like spooky scary skeletons. I wouldn't know from your name that you liked that. Black skeleton. Speaking of skeletons, see? Ask and you shall receive. Gold C-3PO. And um, Chrome Darth Vader. We were talking about Chrome Darth Vader. Yeah, we could use some of those. We did find a Chrome Darth Vader legs uh, in one of these as well. 
the other day. The other day being like, you know, probably like six months ago. All right, I don't see any more. What legs are those? Yeah. Airplanes on your legs. Can you give me a Superman note ask and you shall receive? <laughs> we get anything Rex related? I mean, maybe. You'll buy two skeletons, you keep the rest. Fair. Deal. Wonder Woman. New Wonder Woman legs? Alright. We were going through bins and bins of this stuff. I tried to task my kids and my wife to go through all this stuff with me. And we were just going through bins and bins. There's a snowman. Bins and bins of the, uh, the meh stuff. Just separating out the accessories and whatnot. Because I'm going to post probably expand my brickling store to be minifigs and minifig accessories as well so that was fun uh it took us hours and we're not even done we're only like halfway done we had a huge huge bucket of stuff to go through lego fan jack hello oh i did an asmr i'm so sorry Sorry, it won't happen again. I apologize. I've let down everybody. I feel terrible. Can your kids organize Lego? Your kids are really smart, but they can't watch Ninjago. <laughs> uh, no, they're too young. I, I told my daughter to help me and she could like earn some pieces, some cool pieces that she found. Um, and she just like locked in on the first cool piece she found and then that was it. Just no more concentration the rest of the time. <laughs> So, and then she was just, uh, then she was just digging through the bin, finding pieces she wanted and putting them in a bucket. And I was like, that's not how this works, but it, you know, yep. Mm -hmm. Andy Royd. Should I put a low feedback on the Bricklink seller if they took over a week to put my orders on shift? Eh, at this point, no, I don't think so. Some of ours have been delayed for various reasons and stuff like that. I would just give everybody a break at the moment. As long as it came safe, like obviously if it took a week and then it came trashed and it took them a week to pack it and it was still trashed, it's a good piece right there, uh, then yes. But if it's just time related, I mean, we can wait for things. It's not, I wouldn't say that's a, it's like a negative. Because negative feedback affects you so much on BrickLink and eBay that, I mean, I don't think it's worth it. Obviously I'm not you, it's up to you, but I don't think it's worth it. Printed hair figs right there. Got a slingshot and everything. Assist official in the house says, sorry I'm late, don't judge me. I ain't judging you. I ain't judging you. This guy's got all of his metal worn off. Andy Royd looks almost human. Creepy. Hey, there's a good piece. Wrong arms? That's Killer Croc, the original Killer Croc. I think that's the wrong arms, though. He ordered things from three sellers, and all of them took long. Yeah, I think everybody's just taking long. Yeah including assist official to get to the stream. Zing! What's up, buddy? How's everything going over there? You've not received them, but what I mean is they took like over a week to pack a few parts and ship them. One of the three shipped today. Yeah, I mean, it's annoying, but at the same time, like they're Brickling sellers, they probably have other jobs and stuff like that. It's probably not their prime time job. If it's like a huge store and that's all they do. But I mean, even, even I have a fairly large store as Joey May would say, very successful eBay store. Uh, and sometimes just things happen and you get behind on things. So I'm very, very lenient when it comes to that stuff, but I'm not the collector like you are, so I couldn't tell you what's important to you. But I just know feedback on those sites hurts so much. So if you have a, maybe tell them, hey, or like question them, hey, what's taking a little bit, then they can at least respond to you, Magneto. They can at least respond to you a little bit to say like, hey, this is what's going on in my life. Cause they might have another job and that job, they can't get time off work or they have to work overtime or you never know what's going on with people's lives. Space police. I just say, be nice, be nice. Tan Solo. Tan Solo, where's the rest of him? That's, that's Tan Solo right there. Look at that. Nice pearly white on top there. It's Tan Solo the second. It's even tan all the way throughout. We gotta find that guy's face. Man, Tan Solo returns. 
We gotta find his face, give him some hair, and he can stand proudly next to the other Tan Solo. We almost found another mascot there. Sorry, he's Genie. Uh, did I miss a lot of chat there while I was tan soloing? Exam might be a little bit more important. <laughs> just slightly. Just slightly. Thanks again for the TIE Bomber pilot. My pleasure, man. Donovan Avery in the house. Hello. Lucas Borden. Can I buy an Energy Ninja for 40 bucks? Uh, like, whichever one? Sure, I'll sell you, like, an Energy Kai for 40 bucks. We have those. I don't have any Energy Js at the moment. I'm assuming that's what you were talking about. I don't think I have any in stock. You've been putting lots of effort into building a huge pile... Oh, huge high piece count skyscrapers for your Lego City Skyline. Nice. Did ship your order? Okay. Tan Solo new shirt. Oh, yeah. Now we have interchangeable shirts. For that music video, the stop motion music video we're going to do of Tan Solo, we actually have different shirts now. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We're going to keep that there. Way to go, Tracy. That's a great idea. Once I get super good at stop motions and have the time, which is never... Uh, it's gonna happen. Kind of like when I'm gonna go to uh, the Lego uh, basement. <laughs> totally gonna happen when I have tons of time. Totally, totally gonna happen. You know, when I have tons of time. I think that's what is that? A elf general? Like that? Just want. <laughs> You're drawing, you're drawing here, oh, for, for commission, nice. Making money. How much would you sell a kimono Lloyd for? I don't even no idea how much kimono, I usually sell all those, wow, that figure just disappeared. I usually sell all those figures um, in packs, so I don't sell them one at a time for the most part, unless I have a huge influx of them. Uh, for the most part, the kimono guys, I sell all in a pack and I get a premium for it doing that way, so I've just found that that's the best way. Cryptor in the house, that's a good fig. We just need his uh, other stuff. Other stuff. Another fish face. Like eight euros. You honestly want a tan solo? <laughs> well, yeah. Duh. Making it rain money. Random question, but how much? Oh, wait, no, that's the same one I read. I already read. I can't even keep up. Tanner Lewis, hello. What's up? Welcome. I think that's Crane. Not getting any showstoppers yet. Galaxy Squad, I think is what that one is. You got attacked by purple goo. That's terrifying. All right. You just want to live that spam life. What's better, Republic Gunship or AT-AT? -AT? Mm. Uh, I'm going to go with AT-AT, -AT, in my personal opinion. Woo! I know you guys did it, too. I feel you. It was a knight. Uh, what was that? Even Peel? Is that Satine? I don't remember. Ooh, that hurts you. Oh, because you love the gunship. Your dad's husband loved the halls, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That was Jedi Bob. Indiana Jones, where are all the super good things, man? Where'd they all go? Guess that head. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Dumbledore. Wow. Anybody who had old Dumbledore? You're the winner today. Uh, I think that is Blackbeard as well. Good torso. For show. For show. Oh, there's another good torso. That's an Iron Legion torso. We need the helmets. I have like 20 of these guys and no helmets. And the helmets are super expensive because they go to Iron Patriot as well. And uh, that hurts me deep to try to buy those on Bricklink. It's tough, it's a tough life. You got it right. 
<laughs> Old Dumbledore. Uh, Aqua Sharks. Love that guy. Another Aqua Shark. There's a good piece. Stasa Lee. Probably butchered that. I never know how to say her name. Mandalorian headpiece. Is that Bizarro Superman? The Mighty Micro, I think, though. <laughs> yeah, I honestly need to buy all of your minifigs. You have too many, you don't have room for them. I mean, I ha look how many minifigs I don't have room for already. That's the problem. Dumbledore with the uh, silver filigree there. That one used to be really good. Harry Potter figs in general now are just, they're just real bad in terms of sales. Just don't sell them ever. I don't even buy Harry Potter lots. Like if there's a giant Harry Potter lot, I won't even bid on it at all. Hidden clones all the time for hair figs. SpongeBob, he's actually gone up quite a bit in value. That's a pretty good one. Who's my favorite minifigure, by the way? Everybody in chat knows it, I think. The old school Wolfpack Knight. Cracked Frodo Baggins. The only thing that's not worth anything in uh, Lord of the Rings, Frodo Baggins. Do I have Moro? Not currently. The Lord of the Rings guy. We got Anakin testing his knight skills. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Never seen that one before. It's got pink hair. What is that from? Anybody know? Right off the bat. Uh, how much does the Munalist Mandos go for? I don't even know what you're talking about. Sounds like you know a lot more in Star Wars about Star Wars than I do. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. No idea. Hey, that is a uh, that's a fake Wolverine on a post. <laughs> this is ceremonial. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, but uh, I'm here for it. Ceremonial fake destruction. I could live for that. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure that's Uncle Owen. From isn't that like a super valuable fig torso? What is that one? We have to look this up. Is it Uncle Owen from OG Sandcrawler? Yeah, it's like a super good fig, isn't it? I don't remember what his head and his legs looked like. Now I'm gonna have to look that up. Hold on, stand by. Bricklink wasn't working for me earlier today, so hopefully it's working now. Uncle Owen? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is from the uh, 10144. I think he was the rare fig in that, though, right? Like, he's, like, the only rare piece of that set. Let's see if his head is anything spectacular here. Oh, no. His head's only in one... One figure. <laughs> oh, no. I wanted to find the head. Oh, jeez. Looks like the performance art figs from our strip club set. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, look, the ball is Lego. Ban you for that? Nah. Nah, man. There's a good hose piece. Those are pretty hard to find nowadays. In good condition, not broken. Awesome. Awesome. Totally awesome, bruh. I uh, don't know what that one is. Anybody know what those legs are? From the original where you could have gotten Chrome C-3PO? Yeah, man. Stone Warriors. Stone Warriors. Use those in a hot second. We've got the Scarab Shield. I'll use that too for those Anubis guards that we got not too long ago. We're looking for one of those. That's good. Gold Pirate Hat. What else we got in here? Golem. You'll buy Ninjago Skulkins? They're for sale, man. Do I have any in the store? I don't even remember. Really, are the hoses rare and black? Because I have two. The hoses are just, they always break. 
So, yeah. I already answered who my favorite minifigure was. Wolfpack Knight. Old school Wolfpack Knight. Not Star Wars Wolfpack Knight. Old school Wolfpack Knight. It's my boy. It's my boy. Nothing. Need those headpieces. Tandix Glorian. Need to open your own PayPal? Yeah, man. Yeah, if you're in his area, take a look at that Brickling store. Andy Royd's head again. He wants me to buy it all from him, but it's too far away. <clears throat> I'll buy it all when I come over there. How about that? Alien? He'll send me a free Lego set? For what? For Skulkins? Architect banned the word favorite. He said he's tired of people asking the same questions. <laughs> What's up, Will Harper? That is actually quite funny. I didn't even ever think about that. Whoop. That is funny, though. Because that is a, a very common thing. One of his arms. Super weird pink arms there. Mummy. This one was pretty trash, this bag. Which is gonna happen every once in a while, you know? It's like, uh, maybe there's some good heads in there that I don't know about. Can't find Owen Lars's head. I'm just gonna look at the tan ones for right now. The pilot. All right, I'm gonna make up for it. Lego female with pink hair is an ultra agent figure. Thank you very much, one. All you have to ban Mr. Gold. <laughs> yeah, everybody asks if I've found a Mr. Gold. Noob Overlord, hello, what's up? Uh, no, I've never found Mr. Gold. Went to your store yesterday and the shipping is incredibly fast. To my store? Or to whose store? My store? You guys were in Brickitech's stream? I didn't know he was doing a stream. Hey, right on the top. Somebody asked uh, if we were going to get any... Any Rexes. Oh, God. Free hair. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Not even worth it. Oh, God. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. All right. Crisis averted. Somebody asked if we were going to get any Rexes today. There's a $50 minifig right there, complete with his pauldron and uh, his two little pistols, which are the hardest things for me to find in this thing. So, uh, there we go. It's a day, boys. It's a day. We did it. We, we freaking did it. <laughs> we did it. Yoda? Oh, you went to my store? Nice. Painted horse. Horse. Another cauldron. Two of these. I haven't seen one of those before and found two of them just, just like that. An orc. Kevin will find a Mr. Gold soon, though. On a, or a 24 carat gold C3PO. Do we ever see if that thing's sold? There's a uh, Harry. Don't touch your face now. <laughs> nope. Nope. Definitely not. Space police. Hey, here's that, uh, that Dumbledore to go with that Dumbledore head we found earlier. Another one of these guys, holy cow. Three of those. I'm paying cash now. Is it okay if you send a set for Skulkin? What set is it? I mean, there's a lot of sets I don't want <laughs> out there. Uh, but maybe we could do a trade. It just, it has to, so any trades that I ever do have to be in the business's favor a lot of people ask me for trades, and that would be well and good, but if it doesn't actually do the business any good, 
and it's not I'm not a collector so it doesn't really help me get a collection of anything if I'm just treating services one to one in terms of value it really doesn't make sense at all for me to do that so I know a lot of people want like trades and stuff like that but it has to completely benefit me which is sounds selfish and greedy but that's just how business works so any trades that I do always have to be in my favor, which is totally unfair, but that's how I make it worth the time that I would spend doing it all. So, I'm sorry. Uh, Rada, missing his arms, unfortunately. It's a good fig, though. Now find phase two, Rex. Deal. I'll do that. I'll do that. What? That is so cool looking. What is that piece from? I'm 100% gonna put that in a buildable droids lot because that is awesome. I have never seen that piece in trans blue before. I'm guessing it may be a diver set or something like that. We gotta put some, we gotta put some legs on this R2. R2, gotta get some legs, boy. We got R2 Lieutenant Dan. You ain't got no legs, R2 Lieutenant Dan. Trash blue came in a few sets. Really? I've never seen that piece ever, 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 ever. Business is business, ain't that right? Yep. It's nothing personal, nothing anything, just business. This is a business. It's not a collection for me, so it's got to work for the business. There's Kylo Ren's body. Piecing them together, slowly. SpongeBob, good one there. We got the birthday boy in the house. <laughs> Trash blue, <laughs> trans blue. Why is that pink? <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of white on it. I was thinking it was like a new mold of that. It's totally pink. Uh, this is apparently number 15, Grand Moff Tarfin. Tarkin, not Tarfin. Tarkin, Grand Moff Tarkin. Number 15. Subbing in number 15, Grand Moff Tarkin. That was pretty good. Short round. <laughs> that was in the uh, Imperial Soccer game that they were playing. Or something. Super creepy Squidward. <laughs> You buy a Skulkin lot for 60 bucks. I mean, I have Skulkin lot. Are they, is it, am I out of Skulkin lots on the store? Orc. Uh, we have the guy I always forget his name. I know you guys know his name, but I always forget what it is. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Oh, man, that guy was hair right into the trash. Uh, Ultra Agents. R2, Dan2. <laughs> See, other people thought it was a cool piece, too. Cool piece. Does Mary Cape, Mary's Cape or 2013 Slave Leia worth anything to you? Mary's Cape, yeah. I always need those. I always need those. Hey, we found this girl again. She's got a jetpack, though, on this one. Holy cow. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Put that over here. Cyrus Borg. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that was... Uh, it's failing. It's failing. Iron Man? We always put Iron Man down here. I went through the Iron Man bin. Man, there's a lot of Iron Mans that are worth a lot of money. It's a lot. DX Cole again. There's R2. Not nearly as cool. He doesn't have a blue helmet. Native American. Hey! There's a Ting. Somebody was just asking about Sam, okay? There we go, 30 bucks right there. We're doing it, boys. This bag is making up for some stuff. Say that right there. We got Azog from the Hobbit as well. Awesome. It's turning around. Turn it around, boys. Everyone has to hit that like button? Yes, yes, everybody has to hit that like button. Print hair figs, we'll keep that cape. I don't really do much with those. You'd be willing to trade for a main character from Lord of the Rings? Are you in the US, Tracy? Okay. Yep. No idea what that is. You guys know? 
ever? Is it like a Dimensions figure or something like that? Anybody know? Why well, Samukai built like a big fig? You have hope for Rex Phase 2? From this bag, possibly. Yeah, I mean, Rex Phase 1 was in here, so. Oh, it's an Incredibles fig. Is that worth anything? We'll put him down here. He's cool because I haven't seen him. Clones in plain sight on a Harry Potter fig. Knights, uh, Mandarin, whatever that is, thing. Looks like uh, back alley Santa on vacation, finally. Doing his shower thing, apparently. Your mini figs are clean though. How much for Lego Stark fig? Uh, I don't remember how much he's going for now, like 15 bucks, something like that. I think I have a couple in store. Little Mermaid. There's another one of those. We never told me what that was. Oh. Ah! Got mad like two days ago, Kevin, because I have a set which just sat on a shelf for like two years. Suddenly all the hinges broke off. Dark red, light blue, gray as well. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. The legs were Ultron? No. No, they're blue and stuff. OG Kai. Imperial, Old School Knight, we got Astromech, Mummy. Contact the LEGO customer service and they'll ship new parts to me. Nice. I know they're usually pretty good at that kind of stuff. I've never actually called them at all. I just kind of order a new one. <laughs> it's kind of how I do it. Probably should call them for things like that. I feel bad though, because I didn't like actually, you know, buy the set, so, you know, that's not what it's for. Space Police. Well, that's probably what mermaids actually look like. If they were in real life, they'd probably look something like that. <laughs> like they're all glorified as like these beautiful women, but this is probably what you'd get from, <laughs> from a real life mermaid. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm gonna put that right there, just so I can stare at you guys with its one eye. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Freeze. Super Battle Droid. Uh, I think that's the Mighty Micros Batman. That looks like an old school Batman torso. I think it's Mighty Micros. Nick Fury. Shadow Trooper. Nothing, my brain just timed out there for a second. There's a lot of hair in this bag, which is kind of, kind of, you know, meh. Found fish fate, face a date. <laughs> All three of them, yeah. Yellow markings clone. Rebel friend. There's Legolas's hairpiece. Good one. Indiana Jones. Chima, Knights. For you, the most painful thing with Legos is the dust that builds up in the blink of an eye. Yeah, man. <laughs> By the way, from your last video, I liked how you pulled the non-existent Supermando from the lot. That was definitely your favorite fake. I saw that. Yeah, I was like, man, I knew he was going to pick that one. I knew he was going to pick that non-existent fig. Alien? Uh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Some. Something happened to Ant Man. Uh, yeah, he went too he went too deep into the portal, I think. Too deep. <laughs> it's a problem. Can't go wrong with those non-existent figs. It was so obvious. Yeah, it was so obvious. Absolutely. Can you put your samurai in your lot of skeletons? Yeah. Price goes up though. Sam Okai instantly adds 30 bucks to anything he goes into, so. Mini Blue Snakes. Hey, there's a good ting right there. Unfortunately, whenever you see the Sith face, I always get confused at which Sith face it is. This is unfortunately not the Palpatine's Arrest version, but it is still good. This is the 9494 Sith Anakin. Love the Sith Anakins. Definitely my favorite version of Anakin, for sure. Man, this bag was way better than the other bags. Phase one clone. OG J. 
Benny. Nothing there. Some uh, Beatles wings. My M6 is really dusty, so Razor Crest is so annoying. Yeah. Dust is really annoying. The Quantum Realm? Yes. That's what I meant. Indeed. Too deep in the Quantum Realm. Then you end up with looking like a Chima fig when you come out. Is that go to this? No? I don't know. Is this bag two? This is bag three. That one bag was just trash. Uh oh, we got another guess that head episode. What's it gonna be? Do we have a torso around here? Or what? Sand trooper. Gotta go, exams got me worn out today. No problem, man. Thanks for stopping by, moderating for us. Ah, it's got like a diamond eye. Whoa, hello. Force powers. Did you see that? You guys saw that, right? Clone. The head is a yellow head. <laughs> Give away a lot of Njago for 120 bucks. Contact me, do you have Instagram? We can set up something for you. Private lot or something like that. Where did I get all this from? This was a private collector, or not collector, wholesaler. I was getting rid of all this stuff. We got Tan Grievous in the house. There's another good fig. And Magna Guard. His, uh, he's been out in the sun, too. That piece has been out in the sun. But he's got his cape that's in good condition, so we'll probably just change that piece out. Uh, and that'll be good to go. Right there. We'll put that guy down here. He's about 15 bucks as well. 13 to 15 bucks. Buzz Lightyear. No, but I can download it. Uh, you can always contact me through other means, too. Are you in the U.S.? Lucas, that's a good armor piece. Always need those for the Minecraft figs or else they're entirely worthless for some reason. Armor, they're good. No armor, totally worthless. <laughs> Try to sell the armor alone, can't sell it. Minecraft doesn't make any sense from a sales perspective. Starfish. Lloyd. Do I have Mandalorian? Yeah, man. I don't have the new Mandalorian, like the actual Mandalorian from the show. Guess that head. It's an Achima helmet. The Reekster? Thanks, man. The pilot. You're in, your, you're in Virginia? Yeah, we can make something happen. Contact me on eBay. Just contact me on, just do one of the contact sellers on any of my lots there, and then I'll just talk to you through eBay. Anakin. Prince Persia. How much is the Penguin series minifigure? I don't know. Series goes in a bucket for me. I have no idea what anything's worth. There's Luke changing it up a little bit. Some printed hair. Clone head. What's my Insta? Leg bros. With a zero instead of an O, because Leg Bros was taken. Can you believe that? They had it before me. They had it before me. Those twins. Indiana Jones. Bears. Has been surprisingly calm this stream. No bans or <laughs> mutings for spam, right? Yep. No racial shouting. <laughs> <laughs> or anything like that. Monster Hunters. Yeah, it's been nice. Just chill. Just chill how it should be. There's a skeleton right there. And another one. And another one. Look at all these skeletons. Tanned up. Can you set me a lot for stars? I can set anybody a lot for anything. Just let me know. Let me know. Contact me on eBay, Instagram, wherever. If it makes it worth it to make, sometimes it takes me a little while to make a private lot because I just have other stuff I have to be doing for life and kids and stuff like that. Um, but usually we make them, make them work eventually. Make them work. I don't see much else. Is uh, an alien? How long have we been going? Fifty-four minutes. 
Somebody took Ninjago Bros on Instagram. Ninjago Bros on Instagram. So you had to change to Ninjago underscore Bros. Yeah, man. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Friend. More friends. I think the friends boys are uh, somewhat more worth money. But friends also goes in a bucket. I just don't know. Can you have one of my characters? You could go buy it in the store and then you'd have it. Yeah, absolutely. Whichever one you want, you can have for a price that's posted in the store. Alien. If I gave everybody everything away for free, I wouldn't have anything. And then I'd have nothing. It just doesn't, doesn't work like that. ASMR. Rick Martin says, unless Kevin wants to be grateful to send me a pre Vizsla cape, I use that pre Vizsla cape instantaneously. <laughs> I have like four pre Vizslas that are waiting for capes, Rick Martin. So once I don't have that, then yes, absolutely. What's cheaper, phase one Rex or phase two Rex? Phase one Rex is cheaper by half. Sold the phase two Rex for 100. This one sells for 50 here in the US on eBay. Uh, how much would you sell me a fellowship lot with Gandalf, Boromir, and Pippin? I have the, f I, usually I keep a lot of the Lord of the Rings figs until I have an entire fellowship. Uh, and the same thing with the uh, Hobbit Dwarfs. I keep until I have, like, the entire collection. And then I sell that all as one collection. Usually kind of gets a little bit, uh, a little bit pricey, for sure. Here in the Netherlands, Phase 1 Rex sells for 18 Phase 2 goes for, like, 55 There's a difference, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You're lucky? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, those, those lots get a little pricey. Just because you get the whole set of characters. <laughs> yeah, Ninjago Bros, that pretty much sums it up. But that's pretty much like 50% of the comments that happen on videos and stuff like that is give me free stuff. It's pretty cool. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Just buy uh, GameStop stock and then you'll have all the free stuff you want. <laughs> After you buy it and let it sit there till the moon. How much do you sell Kimono Lloyd, Kimono Zane? I don't know offhand. I don't know. I don't know. My Kimono... Here, let me look up. I'll look this up for you. So currently, the Kimono collection that I normally sell... It might be out of stock right now. But let me see if I can find what... Uh, whoops. I was in orders. That didn't work. Actually, probably would have worked if I was searching for the right thing. All right, I sell all seven figures for Kimono. I sell the Golden Lloyd, the non-Golden Kimono Lloyd, J, Kai, Cole, Zane, and Wu for $60. That's how much that lot costs for all seven of them. Your cousin had the whole fellowship except Sam. You need one more character to have every character. Grima, I just sold him. Yeah, I think he was like 25 bucks or something like that. Yeah, I just sold that. I have one of those towers almost sealed in box. It's missing like the first bag of parts. Uh, I had to buy the Ent that goes with it. So I bought that separate. So I, there's still just a couple of parts that I need for it. But like most of the other bags are sealed, inc including the bag that has Grima Worm Tongue in it is completely sealed. I think the reason people ask you free stuff is you have a lot of Legos, so I think maybe you're kind enough to give everyone that watches your videos. Yeah, I would just go broke instantaneously. Like, maybe City Figs, but then, like, okay, so think about this. I have this, this, well, what is it? This figure. If I'm going to give this figure away to somebody, say I'm say, oh, yeah, I have tons of figures, so I'm going to give this figure to somebody. The minimum, absolute minimum, that this cost me to give to somebody is $3. 
So in addition to giving somebody a figure, I'm also paying $3 to give that person that figure that doesn't do me any good anyways. This has no value to me other than very small value in bulk. And if it's somebody international, then it's like 13 to $15 to give you this figure. That's why it, 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 it doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, it doesn't. I'm sorry, I would love to. I would love to give my city figs away to people in need, but it doesn't make any sense. Shipping kills everything, I'm sorry. It's the reason I haven't bought all of uh, Assist Official stuff. <laughs> We will do giveaways, though. But nobody thinks about that. Like, it cost me $3 minimum to ship that. So it's not just a free figure. It's 3 bucks that I'm paying to give you the figure. It, it just doesn't, yeah. Like, giveaways is one thing. You know, a special occasion or something like that. But just like, oh, you have figures. Give to me. That just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Okay, two are the haters who did not like this live. There's only one now. <clears throat> the open version of the tower included Grimma has bite marks. Oh, that's a bummer. Shipping is not fun nowadays at all. Nope, nope, not at all. Who are the one hater that did not like this live? You're looking at it right now. Rick Martin with the with the thumbs down. Buy good deals from Kevin's store or trade with them. Yeah, there you go. Good deals for that. Oh, you're looking at it right. <laughs> I read that as the as Rick Martin was the hater, <laughs> not his YouTube channel. You're looking at right now. Shipping to the UK from the Netherlands is like thirty euros. Exactly, it's just crazy. One hater, but thousands of fans. <laughs> right. All right, everybody, we are going to wrap it up. Not too bad. We started out real slow. These are all pretty good pieces. Um, our buckets ended up about even for useful versus meh, but we'll go through the meh things and get a whole bunch of minifig pieces that we'll sell on Brickling probably eventually. Um, international sales, hopefully eventually. It's just, it's a lot of stuff we gotta figure out. COVID didn't help anything, um, but yes, hopefully eventually. Stream tomorrow, that is the plan, unless we're doing something. It's supposed to snow like crazy, so if I go anywhere and play in the snow, um, then that might happen. What's my Brinkling store? It is K-A bros. K-A underscore bros. K is in Kevin. A is in Alpha. The one figure I know from your Ting pile, Samukai. <laughs> Everyone stay alive and well. Well put. Well put. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I appreciate it. Those people who wanted to buy stuff, let me know. We'll get a private lot going for you. Thanks all for joining. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. K-A. A is an alpha. Or Adam A. All right, everybody. Love you all. Thanks for stopping by. Peace out.